This is gonna be a very much fall day. We're gonna do that again. This is gonna be a day full of fall things and activities, and I'm not even in focus. Good for me. This is actually like the second day I'm filming this video or something like that, I don't know, but I didn't film an intro before. And yeah, basically today's video is gonna be full of fall activities. This is gonna be a cute, fun, trendy, little vlog and I did one of these like exactly the same thing last year but I just I have to keep up the tradition just because I don't even like I'm hoping that I did one for Christmas last year I'm pretty sure I did where it was just like a bunch of Christmas things because I don't even like fall that much for me to be doing a whole ass video but I've talked about this before whatever I literally probably said the exact same thing last year but this is gonna be like a cute little vlog full of fall activities and just getting ourselves into that fall mood speaking of actually hold the phone to start off and kick off this video right i'm gonna do the most basic 14 year old me thing i could do and that's to change my background to a seasonal holiday background I used to do that a lot, like literally every single month when I was like 14. I would go on Tumblr, if you guys remember Tumblr, I would go on Tumblr and I would find the most like aesthetic, that was before like aesthetic was a thing. Like you'd hear the word aesthetic and you'd be like, what the fuck is that? Like it sounds like a fucking disease. But yeah, Tumblr was it. I love this one. <laughs> Why am I the most basic bitch i've ever met okay whatever we're gonna go with this one because i'm just gonna overthink it for like 15 minutes and then i'm gonna go back to the first one that i wanted and that's the one i'm gonna choose so we're just gonna skip all of that bullshit. look at that that's cute a little pumpkin moment kind of matches my nails Ooh, tune into lakers versus the heat 7 30. wait what the fuck? it says it's at 4 30 but it's 4 31 right now have the biggest pimple on my fucking face right now and it's actually you're probably like but shut the fuck up nobody cares about a pimple like there's bigger problems in the world listen this pimple hurts and i haven't like experienced a pimple that hurt this bad before which is why i'm a little scared so right here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and now i'm like traumatized because i know it's because of the face mask but excuse in me that I have to wear a face mask for eight hours at my work so my face can fuck off really but anywho's this is our before super ugly super crusty <laughs> this is the after look at those fall vibes look at that fall 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 I was about to get green, but I'm like, okay, like it could either look like a cute little green like this, or it could look like a shit green. And I made the smart decision not to get the green. And I got this one. I'm gonna go to this really cute fall, like bakery cafe sort of thing and get some fall treats because if we're not eating in this video, then it's not a good video. Why does the lighting suck? I already look ugly. Don't make me uglier. Me with red hair. having stomach problems later but it's all right <laughs> oh dude we didn't pay the meter i'm stupid we never pay the meter I, we don't never wow next time we come back my car's gone <laughs> that's mm -hmm. not fine why'd you laugh Okay, just a super quick and cute interruption to this video. I just want to give a shout out and a thank you to Pura Vida or Pura Vida 
for sponsoring this video. The story behind this brand is actually really cool, which is what motivated me to want to work with them as well, because I saw a bunch of interviews of the two guys that started the brand and their story with how they started it is really, really inspiring, I want to say. Like, I don't want to sound all corny, but it is really inspiring. So basically, their brand and their company and, like, the products that they sell is basically handmade jewelry. They have bracelets. It started off with bracelets, but now they have a bunch of different things. They have bracelets, they have necklaces, they have rings, all of that stuff. And everything's handmade. And they started off with two guys from Costa Rica that would make bracelets for them and they'd be able to sell it for him here. And now they work with over 800 artisans from all over the globe, basically from like Costa Rica, from El Salvador, from India, and from more, like a bunch of places. Their packaging is biodegradable and it's also eco-friendly. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I got. And what I noticed when I was going through their website was that they have so many different options. Okay, so I started off with this one just because I think it's really cute and I kind of want to wear this like um, as an anklet. The next one that I got is like this really cute like delicate white one um, This one basically every time they sell one of these 5% of the purchase goes to the cure childhood cancer um, Organization which is a nonprofit organization. This one's just like a little Cute daisy moment. So 5% of this ring that I got right here goes to the um, to a breast cancer organization Last ring that I got is a little turtle. That's one of my favorite animals if you use my link down below, you can get 25% off your first purchase. So yeah, thank you to Pura Vida, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. I'll be with you in just a moment. Okay, thank you. Okay, please get a venti uh, pumpkin cream cold brew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just spent the past like hour and a half doing absolutely nothing but watching this like Netflix documentary or whatever it's called American murder the the house next door or like the neighbor next or whatever but it's called American murder and it's like number two like trending so it's like I guess like a lot of people have been watching it it's really scary like don't let anybody fool you it's really good it's really good but it's very scary and I go I was like I was traumatized the whole time because okay I'm the type of bitch where like I don't like surprises right so like second like maybe like 30 minutes into it I googled it because I like had to know what happened like I could not wait a whole ass hour to wait to see what would happen because they wouldn't tell you who did it like you had to wait till the end or whatever so I was like fuck this shit I'm gonna google it so I did I googled it and I figured out that I'm gonna about to spoil it for you so like if you haven't actually should I spoil it whatever I won't but like I found out who it was like who was the killer and I got really scared like I was like oh my god like what the fuck? like how are we supposed to trust anybody like he looked like the most sane person kind of I guess I mean, after you figured out all, like, the stuff underneath, like, yeah, he wasn't too sane, I guess. I was just, like, I got paranoid. I was like, oh, my God, like, my neighbor could be doing the exact same thing, and that's just very scary. Yeah. That's why I can't watch anything else other than comedies, because then I just start fucking freaking the fuck out about everything. 10 out of 10, though. I do recommend it. Hi. That was all pumpkin, no cold brew right there. Got the pumpkins. Woo! I got a white one just, you know, for the aesthetic. And then I got a cute little other one for <laughs> vibing at the Vaughn's parking lot. Oh my god. Okay, but look how cute this is. Like this this is what this video needed. Like now it's what it's supposed to be. My nails are a dark color, they're not nude. I don't know what's going on. And I have a pumpkin here, and my car smells like pumpkin cold brew and I'm wearing a sweater this is a fall video guys you're welcome for this I don't know if I should carve these I probably shouldn't just because I'm only gonna fuck them up but I saw this really but I saw this really cute thing where people like painted them I don't have paint but I do have a sharpie no 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 I'm not gonna fuck them up okay just they're cute as it is oh they're cute as it is Did somebody bite this one who the fuck was hungry I'm gonna put these in my room and call it a fall day if only I lived in like Pennsylvania or something you know what I mean where like they actually have like seasons and where it's actually like the leaves are falling and it's like windy and it's like all that type of stuff no we go from 95 degree weather to 60 degree weather that's it anyways you guys don't give a fuck I complain about California weather in almost every single one of my videos um, but now we're gonna go figure out what I'm gonna do you know you'll figure it out you'll figure it out 